You're about to witness a miracle. See the astonishing surgery. Graham, how are you there? Very good. That stops the shakes. Look at that. It's, it's stationary now. That's one that stopped. Ends all the misery. You can smile. <laughs> yes, I can smile now. From this. <laughs> amazingly, to this. It's a sunny day in Cleveland. It's called deep brain stimulation. It was the final stab in the demon that possessed this wretched body for so long. <laughs> <laughs> and it's transforming lives completely. It's a wonderful world to be in. I love this place. Graham, how are you there? This is Graham's last resort. Now, how bad is the tremor in your right hand? Can you show us? <laughs> there for us? Yeah. We'll do the left side of the brain first, because that controls the right hand, OK? Delicate and dangerous surgery. Tell me whether you can feel anything, Graham. In which surgeon Richard Bittar bores two holes into Graham's skull to target the tiny pocket of cells causing the tremor. Not hurting too much? No, it's not really? hurting. Oh, There's a 10% chance of either stroke or paralysis, even death. Had he no tube sex? And incredibly, Graham is awake for every second of it. Okay, how are you feeling there, Graham? Deep brain stimulation is a new frontier in medicine, offering huge potential to people with neurological disorders. And this is the key, a tiny electrode. Using this, doctors can pinpoint the exact part of the brain that's on the blink. It's been successful with Parkinson's disease, but for millions of people suffering from other movement disorders, trapped in a body they can't control, deep brain stimulation could one day set them free. This is how it works. Two electrodes were inserted into the part of Jeff's brain causing his Tourette's. They are connected to a battery in the chest. It's like a pacemaker for the brain. The electrical pulses neutralise the faulty brain signal, but they must be in exactly the right place. Back in Melbourne's Alfred Hospital, Graham Miller is hoping for his own miracle. I think what staggers me is Graham is awake in the theatre in this brace and he'll be working with you, won't he? He's a, he's a, a critical part of this whole process. Really. So it could be like, yes, that's the right spot, that's yes. the right spot. Yeah, and he, he'll know, he, he will know. If we, if we fit the right spot, he should be able to tell us. Okay, how are you feeling there, Graham? Pretty good. As it has for the last 10 years, Graham's hand has been shaking throughout the surgery. We know that we're in the right area. We want to make sure that we get the best spot so that we can put the wire in that position. But now, the moment has come. Dr Bittar has located the trouble spot and is about to hit it with an electric current. Look at that. It's, it's stationary now. Yes, that's right. It's that's wonderful. It's stopped. Yeah, it's good. You can tell the difference, can't you, Graham? Certainly can. Yeah. yeah. Back in Melbourne, battered and bruised, Graham Miller is recovering from more than six hours in surgery. Oh, weren't you looking good? <laughs> yes, you're looking very good. Mm, how do you feel? Pretty good. Graham now has electrodes in his brain and the pacemaker in his chest. It worked on the operating table. Will it work now? Using a simple remote control, his pacemaker is switched on for the first time. OK, so it's turning it up. Can you feel that? See how the tremor goes? OK, now take a sip. Good. Graham, what's it like to be still? Well, it's... it's Amazing, really. When I first met you, you'd hold your glass like that. Look at it now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come away. <laughs> it, it's like magic, isn't it? It is. It is, Peter. Yeah. Margaret, you said you wanted your husband back. Oh, yes. How do you feel seeing this stillness? I think it's wonderful and it's amazing, and I'm very, very grateful.
and I'll get a cup of tea in the cup and not in the saucer <laughs> again, <laughs> which will be lovely. Deep brain stimulation has given these men their lives back. It's not a cure. The electrodes must stay in place for good. But doctors believe this remarkable surgery may one day treat depression, obesity, even Alzheimer's. For Graham and Margaret Miller, it's already done its job. Thank you. Helping them get back to the simple things in life. Mm, thank you.